<laughs> All right. Uh, the title of this talk is How to Be Standard. Uh, my name is Justin. I go by my last name, Searles, on the internet. That's what I look like uh, when I'm tweeting things. I come from a company called Test Double. Uh, we're consultants. Uh, we're, our mission in life is to join teams like yours and work alongside you and hopefully make your team code base better. Uh, I found in my travels at lots of clients over the years that programmers all seem to hate one thing, uh, just kind of based on what they uh, uh, argue about, and that's lint. Uh, uh, programmers hate lint. Lint gets caught up in your code. It makes it slow and, and dangerous, apparently. Uh, the most popular uh, linter that we've uh, got in our Ruby community is called RuboCop. Uh, it's called a cop because it yells at you a lot uh, for stupid reasons. Uh, uh, <laughs> And I'm a firm believer that like one of the things that Ruby has actually taught the rest of the community is that like the default settings of your library matter a lot for just the joy that programmers have. Why Rails was successful is because we don't spend all day just fighting inside of our configuration files. You know, Rails generally by default makes people feel happy. Um, Rubocop's defaults meanwhile make people feel like this new emoji uh, and... <laughs> And as a result, lots of teams end up just writing like lots and lots of custom one-off configurations. Uh, uh, you, you know, some people might call this bike shedding. If you don't know the phrase bike shedding, uh, uh, basically think of the software development life cycle as going like, well, you have an idea, and then you spend time building a thing, and then you get in a cage match with all your coworkers to argue about meaningless trivia, uh, and then you make money with your successful product. And I, I was thinking about the <laughs> six. I was thinking about the software development lifecycle and I was thinking like, well, you know, is this step really that valuable? Like if we got rid of this, you know, maybe uh, we could have more time just building stuff and then make more money, right? So uh, again, also like another reason I'm ragging on RuboCop is it's the reason that my answer Sinatra was incorrect yesterday, at Family Feud, and I'm still kind of sore about losing. Uh, uh, so when it comes to like talking about replacing the most popular linter, like this XKCD came to mind where it's like, well, there's like 14 competing standards, we need one universal one for them all, and now, so now there's just 15, right? Well, wrong. That's not what's going to happen here because we, uh, uh, Ruby gem names are unique, and I, there's now just one standard, <laughs> and, and I own it. <laughs> Uh, so so uh, I'm a benevolent dictator for now because I really don't want to be worrying about this six months from now. Uh, in fact, uh, earlier today, if you saw Aaron, he's the one in the burger hat up, up in the front row, uh, he actually kind of pre-announced the library. Uh, I called it RuboCop, the good parts. Uh, <laughs> and, and you can gem install standard as the new standard library for Ruby. Uh, if, if you're not familiar, Standard is actually inspired by Standard JS, which is uh, created by Feroz DJ. It basically is just a unconfigurable thing on top of ESLint. So you get all the goodness of the engineering that goes into ESLint and none of the bike shedding and pointless ar argumentation about like what rules you should set because you're not allowed to change them. Uh, so Standard RB is the same thing. Uh, you just add it to your gem file, you bundle install, uh, then you bundle exec standard, uh, but that couldn't fit in one line, so I still use the alias BE when I don't have bin stub, so just be standard. Uh, and uh, after you ty type that and hit enter, if you see nothing, that means you win. Uh, 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 you can go check the exit code, it exited cleanly, you just don't worry about it anymore, it gets out of your way. Uh, if there is an error, it'll tell you, hey, you know, I can automatically fix a whole bunch of stuff like this one here, so you run standard fix and it just goes away. Uh, so it's real nice out of your hair. And of course, when you first add it to your project, you're going to get a whole bunch of different stuff, but standard fix will take care of most of them. Additionally, RuboCop only supports back to like 2.2, Ruby 2.2, but there's not, like, as far as I can tell, a real reason for that other than they want to be aggressive about dropping support, but I want to support as much as possible. Uh, so uh, uh, I've hacked in a way to support libraries as old as like one still supporting 187, and that seems to work, so cool. Um, you, you get some common questions like, what if you don't like a rule? Uh, you know, a lot of people have asked me that so far this week, and my answer is humans are very adaptable. <laughs> so, and if you really don't like a rule, basically you'll see it in the log messages too right now. Uh, open up an issue, talk about it. Because like a lot of people have been using RuboCop for a long time, we all, we all have our little custom things. If you got one you feel strongly about, open up an issue, we'll have a discussion. Uh, the, the, the reason that I'm choosing to be the person to write standard is I literally don't care about any of this. Uh, uh, so I feel like that's a good arbiter of, of one last cage match where we all argue about Ruby style and then as a community we can just get over it. Uh, you can find it up on uh, GitHub at our company testdoubles.org uh, uh, slash standard. Hope you check it out. Uh, and uh, I, I'll be around. I'll be hanging out in the back if you want to chat about it. I got stickers and stuff. And so thanks a lot for having me.